Welcome everybody to the second season of Robomania. I'm super, super excited to start this season out and to be honest, I'm going to have so much fun with this series. So I'm just going to jump right into it and I'm going to explain to you guys everything that's going to be happening with this series and this tournament that's going on. Now compared to last season, last season of Robomania, it was just me with having a couple robots fighting computer against computer and no talking. There's zero talking in it. Zero percent talking in this. But this time I've decided to do something a little different, have a little bit of fun with it, and I'm gonna make it me playing as one of the guys against the computer, and it's gonna be an even match altogether. I'm gonna play play evenly against these robots even though I'm gonna destroy whatever I play as. It'll be even, trust me guys. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to be playing it, and I'm going to be talking during it. I'm going to have all these fun things editing, and this is going to be a tournament. Now, I'm going to throw up this tournament bracket right about now. Oh, look at that. That's awesome, isn't it? Look at this tournament. It's so beautiful. I'm excited to do this. So, I'm going to explain to you guys what this is before I start. This is going to be a double elimination tournament between 32 different robots. Now, all these robots are actually made by me and you, the audience, so I'm excited to see who comes out on top. I actually did a survey to see which robot should be ranked what, and as you can see over here, I'm going to be putting a ranking on the screen right now, and I'll read to you all the, the top four at least. I'll read the top four. So the first ranked overall who should win is High Flyer. Number two is The Undertaker. 3 is Lava Tank, and 4 is King Hazard. Now I'm going to be explaining all these robots when their fights come up, but like I said before, this is a double elimination tournament, which means once a robot loses a match, they're not completely eliminated. The only way they would be eliminated afterwards is if they lose two matches, which means they lose a match and then they lose a match after that somewhere. So they can't lose two altogether. If they lose two, they're out. So with that being said, this episode is going to be the first group, I guess, the first heat of this tournament, which is going to be eight, eight, eight robots. I had to look at a piece of paper. It's eight robots. <laughs> and I'll read out all these robots when their fights come out, and I'll tell you what their strengths, what their weaknesses are, and who designed them. So with that being said, guys, I'm pretty excited about this. Let's hop right into this game. And let's see how it goes. Our first match is going to be the number one ranked High Flyer against the number 32 ranked Sunsplosion. Alright, so introducing our first two robots into this fight is the number one ranked High Flyer. High Flyer was designed by me, and actually one of the episodes I've made, I said that I made this robot when I was stoned. So, I'm actually very impressed that this robot's good. That being said, I'm, I didn't expect it to be number one ranked overall, so that's awesome. Uh, it was created by me, so yeah, and its strengths are it has a spinning blade, and it's pretty badass to be honest. I'm actually, I would be scared to get into a fight with it, because I would lose. It has two axes, and it, it'll kill anything in its sight pretty much. This next robot coming up is called Sun Explosion. It's also made by me. It's It was kind of a robot that I just had an idea for, and I, I made it. And I made it orange, because I like orange, and it looked like the sun set, so I called it Sunsplosion. It really is bad, and I don't expect to get far at all in this tournament. But who knows, this, this season I expect many upsets. So let's jump right into this, and let's see how this game goes out. Alright, so this game has started, and it already has gotten pretty crazy. Oh man, he's already flipped. He is already flipped. <laughs> oh man, Sun Explosion comes out trying to get a good hit on, but it doesn't work. It does not work. High Flyer is just is just playing with him almost. Oh man. So a little th a little thing about this arena is yeah okay. Something about this arena that I think is pretty awesome is the fact that it has many hazards. With that being said, after a minute and a half, I believe, the centerpiece wall will fall down, 
releasing a spinning blade and the four gray boxes that you guys see on the corners of the map are actually flippers as you see the thing was released and oh this this match is getting a little bit out of hand to be honest <laughs> Sun Splosion is is out of wheels it doesn't have any wheels left which uh, is never a good thing each match has three minutes oh man oh man I feel bad for Sun Splosion has no wheels have mercy have mercy on this on this robot. Oh, High Flyer is actually getting flipped. High Flyer is actually flipped over, but it, the mo immobility of Sun Explosion has ran out. Therefore, High Flyer has won this match and has moved on to the second round as Sun Explosion moves down into the losers bracket. All right, moving on to our match two of this heat, and it's going to be five eight four four versus Leila Bot. Now both of these robots were designed by my, me, myself, Gabe, and Soy, but 854, 5844, I thought it was 8544, it's 5844, just, just learned that today, it's 58, not 85, okay, so 5844 is actually designed by one of, a YouTube, one of the YouTubers that has actually done Robomania, not Robomania, Robot Arena 2 episodes, his name is Lucario Plays, check him out if you want to. I don't have his channel description or anything, but eh, there's a plug. He actually designed this robot. I thought it was awesome looking, so I made it, added my own colors. There you go. The next one is actually Layla Bot, designed by myself, and it's actually my dog. It, it, it has a little chomper, and it's, it's fast. So it's my dog. Both these robots are very fast and can be flipped easily, don't do much damage, and pretty much their whole robot is defenseless. So this is going to be a good fight pretty much fast paced and completely out of control is my guess. Alright, so this match is beginning between 5844 and Layla Bots. And both robots seem to have a <laughs> seem are seeming to have a fun time driving around. And uh oh 5844 got pushed against the wall and now is running into Layla Bots. I, I'm expecting Layla Bot to come out the winner of this one mainly because it has more wheels and I believe that just means it's better to movable and it's just faster paced and Laylabot just pushed over 5844 that's very interesting I don't think that it has a self writing mechanism so there we go it's getting counted out I wonder if it has a chance to get out of the count if it can move a little bit which it does and now Laylabot's just actually taking cheap hits against it while it's upside down. It's trying to get the right angle. It's actually... It's... <laughs> oh, there we go. It's coming up from behind now, trying to get the, the vulnerable spot of 5844. I keep thinking it's 8544. These two robots are ranked alright. They're not the best ranked. Uh, 5844 is ranked 16 and Laylabot's ranked 17. So that's going to be a very interesting outcome. They're pretty much equally balanced. It doesn't look like 5844 is going to get out of this one. And it is over. Laylabot has won with immobility. Alright guys, welcome back to the third fight of this heat. It is going to be between Black Widow and Ghost Smasher. Ghost Smasher is ranked 25 overall out of the 32. And Black Widow is ranked 8 out of the 32. Black Widow is supposedly going to win this one by a lot, is what everybody is going to be saying, because it has a lot of defense, it has a lot of weaponry, and Ghost, Ghost, Ghost Smasher is just a wedger. It's just a wedge robot. That's all it does. It just pushes. So this is going to be a very interesting fight. I believe it's going to be very one-sided. Let's see how this comes out. Here we go. Alright, Ghost Smasher is going to come out trying to defeat the very powerful Black Widow. I want to see how this one's going to come out because I don't see much hope in Ghost Smasher in this season. It's already on fire. He's on fire and flipped over. It is pretty much over. 
there is nothing that Ghost Master can do at this point. <laughs> He's already on fire after one hit, maybe two hits. Black Widow has already sealed the deal. This is probably going to be one of the most fast ending fights yet. And the countdown is beginning. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it's over. Black Widow moves on to the second round. And Ghost Smasher goeses. Goeses. I just made up a word, guys. Goeses. They go into the loser's bracket. Alright, this next match is also going to be pretty awesome. It is the number 9 Ghost Hammer versus the number 24 Scrappy Bot. This match is going to be very good because they are both Smasher robots. And they are both designed by myself. So I'm really interested to see how this one is. The only bad part about Ghost Hammer is it's very slow but has a lot of armor. Scrappy Bot is very fast and agile so this is going to be a very interesting fight. Let's see how it comes out. Here we go. Let's see how Ghost Hammer takes on Scrappy Bot. Like I said before, Ghost Hammer is very, very, uh, very, very slow, but has a very powerful weapon. Scrappy Bot is the exact opposite, but also has a very serious damage indicator. <clears throat> Scrappy Bot seems to be stuck on Ghost Hammer right now, and it's the only thing that Ghost Hammer is trying to do at this point is to get Scrappy Bot on top of its little wedge because that's how the hammer will hit the robot. Now it seems like Scrappy Bot is in a lot of... has the lead right now because... he's doing a lot more damage. <laughs> when it comes down to a judge's decision, which some matches might do, it all depends on how much damage has been done, how much attack and control the other robot has. And Ghost Hammer is on fire. <laughs> and a lot this is this is very interesting and his weapon flew off oh no ghost hammer is already looking bad ghost hammer has no weapon besides its one single weapon and it's already over scrappy bot moves on to the next round and ghost hammer goes into the losers bracket okay guys we're moving on to round two in heat a and this one is going to be an interesting one. This is Lelabot versus High Flyer. Lelabot is ranked 17 and High Flyer is ranked number 1. Let's see if the number 17 robot can come under from the underdog and upset number 1 ranked High Flyer. Here we go. We're on the battlefield now and it has just begun. Lelabot is already trying to figure out a way how to fight against High Flyer and has flipped many times. Lucky it landed up right. Oh man, this is this is pretty much just a game about who does the most damage to the other robots, and Lelabot is having a strong and difficult time figuring out how to attack High Flyer. This is a very interesting fight. It's just one of those robots you don't know how to attack, and Lelabot is on fire right now. And flipped. And flipped. It just seems like Lelabot can't do much right now. Oh man, High Flyer is flipped. High Flyer just got flipped and Lelabot is upright. But they're both upright now. Let's see how this ends up. Oh man. Lelabot is on fire and smoking. And it is over. High Flyer does its duty. Moves on to the third round to fight the winner of the next match. Lelabot moves into the loser's bracket into round two. Alright, this next match is going to be really awesome as well. This is going to be the number ranked eight Black Widow versus the number ranked number ranked number ranked 24 Scrappy Bot. This is going to be a really good fight. I believe Black Widow is going to come out on top just because it has more armor, but Scrappy Bot is more movable and is a lot faster. So this is going to be an interesting fight. Let's see how it plays out. Black Widow is coming down against Scrappy Bots and they have just met and they've both done one hit against each other. This is going to be a very very fast paced fight mainly because they're both hammer based robots and Scrappy Bot is already on fire against Black Widow. Black Widow has more strength than Scrappy Bot which is also another thing to keep in mind. So there's a, there could be a lot of pushing in this match by Black Widow also. 
Oh, this game might be over already, and it seems like it is. ScrappyBot has been eliminated by Black Widow and is moving on to the third round against High Flyer as ScrappyBot goes down to the loser's bracket. Guys, if you wanted a treat in the Heat Final, you sure got one today. Now this is going to be the number wink, number wink, number wink, that's exactly what it is. This is going to be the number one ranked High Flyer against the number eight ranked Black Widow. Both of these robots are one of the best in this tournament. And it's going to come down to who can defeat the other and move on to the next round. And I believe whoever wins this match will be the tournament winner. But this is only the heat final right now. There's going to be much, much more. So let's move on to this fight and see how this comes out. Alright, Black Widow is setting up against High Flyer. This is going to be one of the best matches ever, in my opinion. I'm really excited for this one. They're both strong ranked robots. A lot of defense, a lot of armor, and a lot of power. Oh, they're both already flying. And Black Widow is actually flipped. Black Widow's flipped, which is hard for it to uh, recover. It has been flipped in actually another episode of mine, and it's hard to recover this guy from getting flipped. Let's see if it can do it. It has done it before, but it's not easy. Black Widow might be trying to wait for something to fall, one of the hazards to help it out, maybe. Oh, oh, oh! High Flyer almost flips it back over, but it's not completely there yet. And it is flipped back over. Black Widow is back in the fight against High Flyer. Oh, Black Widow is pushing High Flyer into the spinning blade, and it is caught. High Flyer is caught in the spinning blade. Oh, this is a great fight, guys. Both of these robots are very powerful and have a lot of potential in this in this tournament. Here we go. They're kind of stuck on each other right now, which is kind of funny. All right, they both broke up, and now they're ready for another hit. Oh, High Flyer is getting caught. Can there be an upset today? High Flyer is on fire! High Flyer is getting damaged! Can there be an upset? Will this be the upset of the year? <laughs> it is over! The final hit was from the spinning blade to end the match. Black Widow moves on into the quarterfinals. This is amazing. Black Widow upsets the number one ranked robot in this tournament by flipping it upside down and pushing it into the spinning blade. Wow, what a good fight. Wow, <laughs> I can't get over it. All right guys, I'm excited about this match as well. This is going to be one of my favorite matches. This is going to be a four way fight from Sunsplosion, 5844, Ghost Hammer, and Ghost Smasher. Now all four of these robots have lost in this first round. In this, in this heat, which means the two robots that lose first in this fight will be eliminated from the tournament for good. The two robots that survive this round and this fight will move on to the next round to face the losers of round two in this heat. So without, without further ado, I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how this works just because I'm super excited about this. So, like I said, the two robots that lose are out. The two robots that survive move on to the next round of the elimination fights. So let's go into this fight and let's see how this plays out. Alright, all four robots are going into it. Ghost Smasher and 8544 are going right ahead and Ghost Hammer and Sun Explosion are fighting each other right away. Both of these robots all four of these robots have lost their first fight, which makes this a very important fight for all four of these guys, which means this might be the last fight for two of these robots in this tournament, and maybe forever.
looks like Sunsplosion is actually flipped over from Ghost Hammer and is being counted out. Ghost Sunsplosion might be the first one eliminated from this tournament. Three, two, one. Sunsplosion is out of the tournament for good. The next one that is eliminated is completely out of the tournament and the two that survive will be in the next round. Let's see how this comes out. So the center blade has been released and there is already a robot on fire. Ghost Smasher is doing a, taking a lot of damage and now Ghost Hammer is now being the one that's receiving all the damage but is doing a lot of damage. Oh, getting flipped by the blade across the arena. Oh man, 5844 is actually doing a lot of damage to both of these robots, trying to show pretty much everyone that it belongs here. And it looks like Ghost Smasher has been eliminated, which means Ghost Hammer and 8544, 5844 are going on to the next round. They're still fighting, but they know that they have moved on. Alright, this next elimination match is going to be between Laylabot, Scrappybot. Ghost Hammer and 5844. Ghost Hammer and 5844 just passed and survived their last fight against the two other eliminated robots, Sun Explosion and Ghost Smasher. This game is also for elimination, and the one robot that gets eliminated will be out for good. The three that survive will be moving on. So there won't be two that are out, the one that survives will be continuing. Let's see who wins. Alright, all robots are starting out. All going to Ghost Hammer. Seem to be picking on him a little bit. Now 5844 is getting in the mix and Laylabot is actually flipped. Doesn't seem like they could do anything. Keep in mind the first robot that is eliminated is out for good. And it seems like two of the robots are actually flipped. Two of the robots that made it to the second round are flipped. Laylabot is being counted out right now. Scrappybot is on fire. Can Scrappybot survive before Laylabot gets counted out? Laylabot is immobile and is eliminated from the tournament. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the last fight of the elimination side of the tournament. And this is going to be between High Flyer, Scrappybot, Ghost Hammer, and 5844. Now, for this one, the two robots that are eliminated are eliminated from the tournament, and the two that survive move on and are going into the finals of the elimination tournament. So with that being said, this is going to be the final fight of Heat A of the elimination fights. Let's see who comes out on top and which two robots will go into the finals. Alright, let's see this. 5844 goes directly for High Flyer and actually breaks off the spinner blade already! Can this be the first upset that I will see so far? This will be the most interesting upset that I will ever be able to see. Ghost Hammer is also getting on, getting damaged pretty bad and is on fire. Ghost Hammer is taking a lot of damage. It actually lost its weapon too now. They're all still, all still alive and still in it to win. High Flyer is the first eliminated. I can't believe it right now. Two bad fights in a row, and the number one ranked robot is upset and eliminated from the tournament. Ghost Smasher, Ghost Hammer is being counted down right now, but can it get out of it? It is still in it. It is still alive. It went down to one, but is still in the game. 5844 is con completely controlling this match, taking down all of the top fights and just eliminated Scrappy Bot. 5844 and Ghost Hammer move on to the finals. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this first heat of Robomania. The next one will be out in a couple of weeks. I hope you guys will enjoy this. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Write down in the comments what surprised you and who you want to win. All the robot names will be in the description below, so check it out, vote below, whatever, do all these fun things, there's probably going to be a poll of some sort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, thank you for watching, I will see you guys later, this was Gaming Soy, peace out.